What's up guys, it's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what's in my nursing bag. I've been wanting to film it for a few weeks and everything just finally came in the mail. So I'm super excited to show you guys everything that's in my nursing bag. So I start my job August 1st on an LDRP4, which is labor, delivery, recovery, and postpartum. So working with moms and babies. It's only like mid-July-ish right now, but I wanted to get a few things that I think I'll be needing and just to be a little bit more prepared going into my first day. So with that being said, I'll show you guys what I have. Okay, so first, this is what it looks like. How cute, I'm super excited about it. I love purple. This is a Vera Bradley bag. You can see it right there and it has my name on it, which I love. This bag is made out of recycled materials. It says 16 recycled plastic bottles equals one yard of recycled fabric. So they used plastic bottles to make this bag. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I just find things that I like and I love to share it with you guys. I'll just start with the outside. So you can put cups on either side. So I have this cup in here and it's actually my Yeti that I got as a gift from my boyfriend's sister. It says Morgan Boland RN Labor and Delivery. How cute. This is the only Yeti I have, so I'm super excited to take this to work. And then it has like this zipper underneath here for like a front pocket. So I'll show you guys things that I keep in that. <laughs> I feel like I have too much in here already. So the first thing I have in that pocket is some ibuprofen. I feel like that's just a necessity. I love ibuprofen whenever I need it for anything. It's the number one thing that works for me, but I do try to take it sparingly because it can affect your GI system for those of you that don't know. So take it with some food. And then I just have a little mini Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, a chapstick, a Mary Kay travel size lotion, a little portable mirror, Looks like that. My contact solution for when my contacts get dry. And I have a few headbands. So this one I got off of Amazon. It has little EKGs on it. I think that's so cute. And it's purple. And this one came in that pack. It was a two pack. Look how cute. It's purple and like teal and pink with the nursing stuff. And it's gonna match my scrubs because my scrubs are like this color, this like seafoam green color. And then this I actually got off of, I think it's called Happy Headband. It's this like knotted headband that I thought was super cute. So that's everything that I have in the front pocket, kind of just like, if you need it real quick, grab it type of thing. And then in like the main compartment, I have my lunchbox. This is actually an old lunchbox, it's not new. It like Velcro shut like this, it's actually really cute. I have a matching little bag that holds like office supplies in it. And you put it in the freezer and this is like all ice. So it keeps your stuff cold for a long time. It's really nice. Oh, it's from Packet. Pack it freezable. So if you're interested in a nice lunchbox, I love this one. So like how my unit works is I have to wear sterile scrubs. So like I just get there and then I change into the hospital provided scrubs. So I don't really know what I'm gonna be wearing to the hospital yet. So I kind of just have like everything packed in here right now and just like nursing stuff to show you guys. So the next thing I have are these compression socks from Amazon. I have black, white, and gray. And Honestly, I haven't really worn compression socks that much, but I definitely want to because I know they'll help me. But I originally ordered the 20 to 30 compression and I cannot do that. They like suffocate my legs. I feel like my feet are getting cold. I just, I hate that feeling. I hate when things are too tight. So I got the, I think these are like 10 to 15 or 10 to 20. I'll have to check the exact link, but I can link everything down below. These ones fit perfectly and they are considered compression. They're not just like normal socks. That's why I went with these, definitely recommend. And then from Amazon too, I got a cute pair. So it's little like uteruses and ovaries and it says Ova Achiever and womb service. Like how cute is that? I love that, I had to get that. They're not as long, but you know, like, they're fun, they're cute. And then I have this folder and it kind of just has like all my orientation stuff in it and like my 
like physical health assessment forms that I needed before I start work. And then like my offer letter and resume and just like some paper, especially like with starting orientation. Like I felt like a folder was good to have whatever I may get in orientation I can put in here. So I'm carrying this around with me for now. This folder is kind of old. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of sentimental at this point because I've had this folder in school since like eighth grade. So it's just got like a bunch of marks and it's lasted this long. These folders, honestly, the plastic ones over the paper ones are the best. Clearly they last forever. So definitely recommend getting these types of folders if you're looking for a folder. And then I have two notebooks. So one is just like blank and for notes. And I figured that would be useful for orientation. And this is super cute. It says stay focused. I don't know where I got this. This is older to be honest, but I still had it. So I figured I would just use that as my note taking notebook. And then I got this cute planner off Amazon. I love the flowers. I think it's super simple, but cute at the same time. This will definitely be useful as I start my job. And then I got this new stethoscope case from Amazon. I got it in gray. When I originally got my stethoscope, my dad got me a black case, but it was just like hard to see things in it. And I just wanted like a new one that I could like hold like this. So I got this one. I love the heart stethoscope. I think that's just like a fun little touch. So what's inside this is obviously my stethoscope right there. I have like stuff from nursing school that I kept in this that I just kind of want to keep on me. It's like the pain scale and like the EKG ruler and my caliper to measure EKGs is down here. And then I have like nursing scissors. Here's the caliper. Looks like this. And then some note cards, alcohol swabs, and like my stethoscope like ear replacement things. And then I have two pen lights. Honestly, I wanted to replace this pen light because this one's from nursing school and like when I clean it, like the pupil measurer diagram is kind of coming off. This one is more of like a yellow light and like it doesn't like hurt your eyes as much. It's not like LED. So I got this purple one on Amazon, like it looks pretty much the exact same, has the pupil diagram here. And I thought it would be the same light, but I guess not because that's clearly more LED and that hurts your eyes a little bit more. So you have to just like do it farther away like that for your patients, but it's fine. I'll just keep them both. I guess it was like $5. That's everything that's in my stethoscope case. Oh, look at the inside of this bag, by the way, too. How cute is that? But that was everything that's in like just the main type of area. It has a zipper pocket in the back right here and it's kind of lined so like waterproof type things to put in here i don't have anything in there right now so obviously i have nothing to show but on this side there are like three little fishnet pockets in the first one i have i got a pack of these little like badge reel pen lights so you just click them like that They're just on my badge and shine them they are the led ones obviously but i have like all these colors so i can pick which one i want on my badge reel black yellow pink blue purple clear or white and green that i have so those are all of those also from amazon and then i have some badge reels this first one is from clove i got it when i ordered my shoes which i'll show you guys too and then this one is from one of my housemates. It's a stork carrying a little baby. How cute is that? And it's the same color again that matches my scrubs. And then this one's so adorable too. This little baby with the hearts. I love that. This is also from one of my housemates. And then in the middle one, I have this pen. This is my absolute favorite pen. Of course, it's like in the same color. This is from Amazon too. It's by Frixon, I think is how you say it. And it has like red, green, blue, and blue black color so it's kind of like those pens we had as kids it's got those four colors and it's not like super thick like the ones with like eight colors so this pen is actually erasable too this is the eraser which is just another reason i absolutely love it and you can get these on amazon in different colors too like this type of color but i think most of them all just have like the four basic colors on top and you can clip this like on your scrubs which is really nice like it just clips like that I ran out of ink in like two of these already because I used it during school. So I have a whole pack of like three of each color that I can just replace it with. So I keep that in here because it's like my favorite pen to write with. And then I just have a clove pen too because one, it's purple and I thought it was cute because it says for borrowing only, which is like that's needed. I had someone steal my pen when I was doing my preceptorship and I was low-key like offended by it <laughs> and then i have badge reel highlighters badge reel pens too and badge reel sharpies 
So I figured I could use these to highlight things on my report sheet that are important or things that I want to make sure I get done. I feel like the multiple colors of pens would be good for different types of notes and like color coding them that way. And then Sharpies are really good to have on you for labeling IVs or dressings. I might be overprepared, but I like it. I feel organized. <laughs> Those are all from Amazon as well. In the next pocket, I have my N95 that I just got fitted for when I went for my physical. And then I have these blue light glasses that I've had since school, but I figured with orientation and like doing stuff online or whatever I might be doing, I'd bring these. And then I got these goggles. They're like a Stoggles knockoff. And I think they're even better than Stoggles because they have this like top protector and then it also like has the side ones like Stoggles. But I thought these were cute and they're like more protective. So I just like, got them in clear, but you can get them in like multiple types of like clear shades. So I keep those in a glasses cleaner in here. Both of the glasses are from Amazon too. Literally everything I buy is from Amazon. I love Amazon. So that's pretty much everything in my nursing bag depending on if I like walk in with my shoes or bring them with me my shoes will be in there so I'll show you guys those I got these lavender cloves oh my gosh these are adorable I love them these were limited edition lavender but I think they do still sell them so the ties like you know tighten like this and they don't like untie for like safety and then they're waterproof so you can wear them and get stuff on them like you will in nursing and clean them easily. Those are the bottoms. Here's this side and this side. And I honestly love them. I love the cloves. I thought these were super cute and I think they would go really well with my scrub color. Clove just dropped like another type of shoe. They're like the clove arrows or something. And they're like a purple and teal-y color. And I think they are so cute. So those might have to be my next pair. So this bag you can wear like this like on your shoulder which is how i'm kind of planning on wearing it right now or it comes with this like strap that i like clearly haven't even taken off yet but it's like a thicker and longer strap that you can wear the bag with so it's more comfortable on your shoulders if it's too heavy which at this rate it's probably going to be too heavy for me so i might have to start using that but i just kind of keep it attached to my bag right now and then these side pockets too they also have like this little elastic thing to hold your water bottle inside so that's really nice both sides have that right there and if I need it for orientation I can put my laptop in here too so it fits like that I also have this laptop case that I can just take with me and not put it in my bag too so that might help because it does have these like little pockets over here so if I need more space I can always bring that but I have a feeling that I probably only need my laptop for orientation if at all but honestly like as you start working too you figure out like what you use and what you really need in your bag. So I'll go through that and it'll probably change, but this is like, I feel like the max amount of stuff I'll need. So I wanted to show you guys everything that could potentially be in my bag. And if I eventually take it out, like my notebook after orientation, or if I take my folder out when I don't need it anymore, like stuff like that might change. So that's everything in my nursing bag. This is about everything you need, I think, before starting your nursing job. I feel like a lot of nurses too are type A, so I'm super excited about all this stuff and being organized. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked seeing everything that I have in my nursing bag before I start work. If you guys have any more recommendations or something that you think I missed and may need before I start my job as a nurse or you think that would help me, feel free to leave those ideas in the comments below and and let me know any advice you guys may have for a new grad nurse, maybe even more specifically starting in OB. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate the support and thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. I just hit that yesterday. So that's very exciting and very encouraging. My YouTube channel has been all organic. Everything that I've posted, I've promoted myself. I'm kind of just seeing where it goes naturally. So it's very exciting that I hit 600 subscribers and I'm very thankful for all of your guys' support. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.